What's up everybody, Camro here, and welcome to part 27 of my How to Make a Pokemon Game tutorial series. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about abilities. First, I'm going to talk to you about how to add Gen 6 abilities, and then we're also going to be working on adding our own custom abilities. I'm going to be taking existing ones and tweaking them so that way they're different for our own purposes. With that said, let's get into it. So the very first thing that you want to do is go into your PBS folder and open abilities.txt. I have that open here. And as you can see, they have a bunch of abilities in this document. And really all it is is the early definitions of an ability. So what you have is an ID number, which has to be unique for that ability. So, you know, one, two, three, four. If you want to add another ability, then you go down to the very bottom and make sure that that's a new number. And then the internal name of that ability. And then the name that you see in game. And then the description. So these four things are all that you need to make a new ability and put it in your game and give it to a Pokemon. Um, it, there's no functionality for it yet if you just add a new ability like this. So you do have to do some script editing. But in order to just get a basic ability on your Pokemon, it's super easy. So just these four values and then you can go to your Pokemon.txt and add it. So um, what I've done is I've scrolled down to the very bottom and I've added two new abilities. One of them is called Venom Gaze, which acts like Intimidate, but instead of lowering attack when the Pokemon comes in, it poisons all enemies. And the other one is Strong Mind, which is like Moxie, but instead of boosting attack when you knock out an enemy, it boosts special attack when you knock out an enemy. And um, just above these also, you'll see that I have some Gen 6 abilities here. Really all you need to do is, you know, just the new number, the name of the ability, and then the name in-game, and then the description. One thing that's really cool about Pokemon Essentials is a lot of the Gen 6 abilities have already been, like their functionality has already been coded. So like, for example, if I want to find uh, Parental Bond, which is the ability of Mega Kangaskhan, Control Shift F, Parental Bond, and you can see that Parental Bond has already been defined here. So like, if you have the ability Parental Bond, then it, you know, attacks again. Like, these have already been created. That's pretty cool. So if you want to add Gen 6 abilities to your game, like, all you have to do is add them here in your abilities.txt, and the scripts have already been made for them. So now what I'm going to do is cover some abilities where the scripts haven't been made for them yet. So Venom Gaze will be like Intimidate, but it'll poison them. So let's go into our scripts and do Control shift f Intimidate. And here is where the ability Intimidate is um, defined first. There is another place where Intimidate is defined, but we don't have to worry about that. So basically, the, the logic of Intimidate is if you have the ability Intimidate, when you're at, when you're on active means when you first appear in the battle, so like, like when it's first thrown out, then it says, hey, ability triggered, Intimidate. And then it says for I and zero for four, basically what this is doing is it's going through each and every Pokemon in the battle. So if you have a double battle, there are two enemies and two allies. And um, it says if the battler is an enemy, then it will do the effect on them, which is reduce attack. This function PB reduce attack stat intimidate is a function that's been defined elsewhere, but we don't have to worry about it. We're not going to use it. We're not going to be reducing attack. Instead, we're going to be poisoning. And there is a function that's been defined already called PB poison. Let me go and show you that right now. Let me make sure I'm spelling it right because that's important. And see right here, def PB poison. So PB poison takes three values, the attacker, the message, and if it's toxic. So we're going to make that false by default because we're not going to be toxic poisoning people when we first throw out our Pokemon. So let me go back to Intimidate and then we can change that to PB Poison instead of PB Lower Attack. So really what we can do is just copy Intimidate, go beneath it, and let me set a comment here for Venom Gaze to make it easier to remember. Cool. So if you have the ability Venom Gaze, then it'll trigger Venom Gaze. And for all battlers in the battle, if they're an enemy, then it'll poison them. So instead of doing PB reduce attack stat, instead we'll do PB poison and then enter those three values. So 
The first value is self here because that's what um, Intimidate's doing. Self, comma, and then we'll do nil here because we're not going to send a message every single time we poison someone. And then we'll do false because it is not a toxic poison. So now Venom Gaze has basically been done. There is one other thing that you need to do though. If you're using Elite Battle System, there is a um, thing that checks if it's a ability when you first throw it out. So I need to find that real quick. I believe that was here. Control F, Intimidate. Next, next. Here it is. So it's checking for abilities when you first throw them out. So these are all the list of abilities that happen when you first throw out a Pokemon. So we want to add Venom Gaze to the back, and I have. So if you are making an ability similar to this, you want to add Venom Gaze here, or whatever your ability is, to line 539 of Elite Battle underscore Battle. Cool. So now Venom Gaze has been implemented, and we should be able to get it to work. Let's test it out in-game. So... What should happen is we throw out our Pokemon, which will be Swalot, which has the ability Venom Gaze, and then it will say it triggers Venom Gaze at the beginning of the battle, and then it will poison the enemy. So I've given myself a Swalot or Swalot here, and I can tab over, and there is its ability, Venom Gaze, and it's using the description that we set in our abilities.txt. So now if I just go into a battle, This will be against the Sand Shrew. Cool. Boom. The Wild Sand Shrew is poisoned. Just at the very start of the at the very start of the battle, I had Venom Gaze, and now he's poisoned. So that's how you make that kind of ability. It's really simple. I mean, once once you get a general idea of the scripts and stuff, um. One thing that I will say is, there is PB Poison that has those three values. And there is other functions just like that also. There's like PB Burn, PB Paralyze. There's all these different poison things. You can scroll and look through all the scripts for the battler effects to see, you know, like how to sleep somebody. Like you can put somebody to sleep using like PB Sleep, I believe. Um, yeah, here it is. Um, so yeah. That's how you do one ability. The next ability that I wanted to do was the ability called Strong Mind, which is basically just a copy of Moxie. So let's go and look at Moxie, and let's copy that and tweak it to be our new ability. Cool, cool. So this will be Strong Mind. So if the user has the ability Moxie, instead let's make it so that if the user has the ability Strong mind. I made a typo there. String mind. And your target is fainted, then it will increase the stat. Um, and really, all you need to do is change this from attack to special attack. And then we'll say the ability triggered, it's this person's strong mind. Cool. So I believe this should work. Let's go into a battle and try it out. I'm going to throw out Alakazam and go against a trainer now because just showing it off against a wild Pokemon won't really do it any justice. So let's go back into the town. There is a trainer that I made here that's got like five Pokemon. This was the guy that I fought in a previous episode that was showing off all the sound type Pokemon. So let's fight Youngster Dude and let's take him out. Um. Cool. So now Mistrevious is gonna die, or Mistrevious. Oh shoot! It didn't work. There was a crash. Let me uh let me figure this out. All right. So I found out the problem. It's not special attack that you have to enter. It's S P A T K. So special attack is like this. It was just an issue of formatting. Everything else in the function should be good. So let's run it again and let's try it out now. So the idea here is Alakazam takes out an enemy, and its special attack rises. 
cool. Let's go battle this guy again and test it. Yeah, so definitely be sure to follow all the proper formatting. Oh uh, yeah, when you, when you type something a little bit wrong, it can result in a big error. Alright, so take two. Psychic on the Mischievous. Boom. Right on. And now my special attack has raised because I take him out. Awesome. So cool. That's pretty simple there. So hopefully this video helped you out. That's how you make pretty simple abilities. I want to say this. Abilities are probably one of the, the more complex things that you can work on adding to your Pokemon game. If you're not super confident with editing the scripts, then custom abilities are going to be kind of a problem. I myself am personally not super confident with editing the scripts either, I will admit. Um, I did that. Oops. Okay. So the best advice that I can give if you want to make your own custom abilities is to look at how other abilities have already been done and make sure that you use the script editor and the control shift F a lot to be searching for how other abilities have been implemented in the game. There's so many different possibilities for abilities that it's impossible for me to cover them all in one tutorial. So hopefully instead what I can do is kind of give you the method for you to teach yourself, if that makes sense. So if you want to make abilities like Keen Eye, then you need to be looking and seeing how that one's been defined and try to emulate it for your own ability. So definitely, definitely, definitely think of an ability most similar to the one that you would like to make and see how it has been already implemented. If you want to make an ability that's super crazy and there's nothing like it before, then there's not a whole lot that I can do to help you because a lot of what I'm going based on, my knowledge, is based on the stuff that's just already been implemented and slightly tweaking it to make your own custom abilities. With that said, hopefully this video helped you out. Um, if you have super crazy ambitious ideas for abilities, then once again, I'm sorry, I might not be able to help you out completely in that respect. But yeah, hopefully you are able to find some use in this tutorial video, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Be sure to follow on Twitch and Twitter, uh, join the Thundaga Discord, and thank you again for a thousand subscribers. I really appreciate it. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye.